great respect for the process, but in all fairness, Obama, President Obama, paid $1.8 billion for hostages. You, not me, you, last night you saw it, Kim Jong-un did a great service to himself, to his country, by doing this. But those hostages came out with respect. We didn't pay for them. Geraldo Rivera is joining us right now. He, of course, the author of the new book called The Geraldo Show, and he joins us live from Cleveland. Geraldo, what did you make of the president last night in Elkhart, Indiana, uh, talking a little bit about getting those three guys sprung? First of all, good morning to everybody. Good morning. Uh, Steve Ainsley, good Pete, good, good to see you. I'm a little hoarse. I've been uh, reading the audio version of my of my book for the last four days, so uh, uh, if I sound a little froggy. First of all, let's get to the point. I think the president has already attained a, tr a tremendous triumph. I mean, the, uh, the, thr the release of the three prisoners the other night was an inspiring, the other morning, an inspiring sight. It was, it was great. I think that this opening to North Korea is on a par with uh, Sadat Begin, 1978, wow. uh, uh, it, at Camp, Camp David, the, the Accords there. Nixon uh, opening up China in 1972, 1973, opening up normalized relations. This is the potential for something vast and incredible, unthinkable, uh, just months ago. Now, getting to the speech in Indiana last night and the president kind of digging uh, his predecessor, President Obama, for making the $1.6 billion, uh, you know, uh, in some ways that the sweetener for that deal was to get our four American hostages out of Iran. So there was a money component to President Obama's uh, e efforts and success in liberating the four American hostages in Iran. There's no doubt that money was a factor. But for the president, for President Trump to bring it up and kind of rub it into the uh, 44th president, I, I think that's kind of petty stuff that I sometimes <laughs> I, I, sh I, I shudder when I hear my friend the president uh, but taking Geraldo, those, the, crowd uh, the low went, road. The crowd went wild. But that is a that's in a partisan context. I have no. Uh, you're absolutely right. It's it's uh, red meat for the uh, you know for the partisan for the true believers. But this what's going on with North Korea is not a Republican thing. It's not a not even a, a Trumpian thing. It is an American thing. The United States now stands on the verge of helping supervise the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, something uh, unthought of or unthinkable until recently. I think the president, uh, who will be, I think, a, a shoo-in for the Nobel Peace Prize, should take the high road and, you know, forget about President Obama and what the Democrats did when they were in charge. He's in charge now, and he's the president for all Americans, so let's just go forward, emphasize the positive. That's all. You know, it's an American thing, but it is in one sense, Geraldo, a Trumpian thing in that, you know, under the previous administration, we did trade five of the worst for a traitor in Bo Bergdahl. I mean, there was this understanding that you got to give up a lot in order to get something. But isn't President Trump taking a stronger stance and as a result, getting more for less? Well, I think that I don't know what happened in Kim's head. I was utterly shocked, uh, Major, when I when I saw this opening happening, when it really seemed that it was more than just talk, when Kim really uh, walked into South Korea and they were listening to pop music, and I said, my God, uh, this is the guy who runs the uh, the hermit kingdom. This is the, uh, the boogeyman of the world. This is the man whose nuclear technology is threatening not only the region, Japan and so forth, but even the west coast of the United States. And suddenly he's saying, take the nukes. Let's have uh, let's have normal relations. He's meeting with uh, President Moon of South Korea. They're, they're talking about integrating the economies of the two Koreas. I mean, this is uh, uh, utterly stupendous. This is spectacular. This is sensational. So I'm just saying that, yes, the president's uh, tactics and strategy is clearly working. But, you know, sometimes you've got to take uh, success 
uh, with the same grace that you take, uh, you know, a setback, Pete. Geraldo, we've been watching Gina Haspel being grilled in front of the Senate about the interrogation uh, process when she was working for the CIA right after 9-11. You had the president. He had, he's been quoted, or he, there was some video that was played yesterday on The View of him saying he had no problem with those three terrorists being waterboarded so that we could get information that eventually led to bin Laden. Well, Whoopi Goldberg was commenting on it yesterday, and she said she wants our president to try waterboarding or getting waterboarded. Listen to this. Remember how the <laughs> gentleman in the White House talked about torture on the campaign trail? What I'd like to say is I would like you to try it. I think people who have actually been tortured who are saying this is not a good thing, you should listen to them because you have never been tortured mm -hmm. and neither has Dick Cheney. What's your reaction? Well, my reaction, first of all, is that the president's nominee, Gina Haspel, should be confirmed as the head of the CIA. She would make a terrific director of the CIA. You're, she's going to be director of the CIA, not the Boy Scouts of America. <laughs> this is a tough world. Uh, you know, intelligence and, and uh, you know, the, uh, the whole uh, clandestine side of our conflict with our enemies is a, is a sometimes brutal business. What happened with waterboarding and the uh, torture, in retrospect, may seem regrettable, but there's no denying that it did lead to the courier that did lead us to the terror mastermind who inflicted so much pain and suffering on the United States. Uh, I totally get that. For Whoopi, I love Whoopi. I've known Whoopi for decades. For her to even suggest that the president endure that, it's, it's disrespectful and unnecessary. Uh, yes, we get it was brutal. Yes, we get that the United States now has affirmed what Senator John McCain has wanted, that we won't torture, that waterboarding is torture. We get it. But there is no denying, and I, I, I think that this gives people the creeps, mm -hmm. but there is no denying that what happened with Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and the others, uh, the other two who were waterboarded, did have some success without which we may not have gotten bin Laden right. as soon as we did. Yep. And as it was, it took almost 10 years. Important. Geraldo, thank you very much. By the Thanks, way, Geraldo. no longer the Boy so, Scouts coming in February. I was going to say Scouts. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So Geraldo Rivera, the author of uh, The Geraldo Show, coming soon, we hear, to audiobook. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great Thanks, Geraldo. Geraldo. Thanks, Congratulations. Geraldo. Thank All right. All right, let's hand it over to Jillian, who has some headlines for us. Hey, Jillian. Good morning. So let's get you caught up on some of the other headlines we're following, including this. What were they thinking? A family, including a mom, holding a baby, run for their lives away from cheetahs. Tourists watching the horrifying moments from a nearby car. What the f what the f over there in the 